So Aaron brought all of the Angus heifers home. You get to AI them in the next couple days. So that'll be fun. be Aaron's first try at AIing all these girls since his class so hopefully hopefully it goes good and that right there is the steer we brought home uh, he's gonna sh show us heat detection and then he also um, his name's T-Bone if you catch my drift so sorry about the yappy dog in the background Well guys, it's uh, raining a lot. We uh, have to AI those heifers I was telling you about that Aaron brought home. So I'm going to attempt to video this for you guys. Um, you're just gonna AI two of them right now. And then we have another two that we'll do about 10 o'clock tonight. And then we'll do more tomorrow morning. Um, not even a half of them have came into heat yet. So that's pretty normal. So we'll uh, get a video of this and you guys can see what all the fun's about. I definitely suckered my dad into helping again. <laughs> I promise you guys she's not taking any hurt at all. It's very, very dramatic. <laughs> we'll see if you'll fit. We need a whole one of those. Trust me with it. I'll incubate it. Sure. Inside my shirt. Oh boy. <laughs> Keeper of the semen. Don't push. Dad, you're not doing your job very well. Uh -huh, look, it's right up there where you get good. Oh. I'm keeping a baby calf warm. Or baby cat to be. Or a half of a baby cat.
still raining. So he's just putting lubrication on his hand. Make it a little bit easier for this girl. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna go build some fence because I need to turn cows out. Electric fence because, well, I can't build fence because it hasn't stopped raining. Um, it also hasn't stopped raining since I got here. So uh, let me uh, let me let me turn this around. Water is running out the driveway. I sure hope Teff and Cowpeas. Well, I hope everything likes water because we're getting it. I sure wish I could get a better video of this. I'm going to sacrifice my face. Anyway. definitely wet now but yeah there's the rain gauge I can tell you how much we've gotten in the last 20 minutes that I've been here waiting for it to stop raining but I can't see it because there's a bunch of rain building fence could be fun stay tuned hey guys I think I have a low spot. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Let me turn the wipers on. It's pretty bad. But no, yep, mm, got some rain. to say I don't think anything's gonna grow right here definitely not definitely not we could have used another couple days of dryness before we got more rain but I guess we will take what we can get
this looks interesting. Don't try this at home, kids. This is exactly what they tell you not to do. You know what's worse? I gotta build a fence over there. This could be fun. I've been here, but we've got like nine tenths since I got here, and it's still rainy. Like, this is ridiculous. Look at that. Oceanfront property with a waterfall and a running stream right here in Oklahoma. So we got all the girls AI'd. Aaron and my dad are putting up an electric fence this afternoon to uh, get all of them moved back out to a green pasture and out of this pen. Brought Sissy home. All the Longhorns are home now, other than uh, Waylon from the pasture out in uh, Glencoe. So I get to love on my baby. I'm gonna see if Aaron can come help me move uh, this little guy right there, the little bull calf. And he. Needs to go out with the boys, so he doesn't need to be in here with the girls. Aaron, 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 husband, that gate is open. Cause I wasn't expecting them to want to push on it. Hi, hello. <laughs> oh, did you just burp? Hi, sweetie. Oh, look at you being sweet. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, got one that thinks she's stuck in the hay ring. But she got herself in there so she can get herself out. It's kind of hard to see through the fence. It's just around uh... <clears throat> here in a minute. I'm sure you're about to see her jump just like she did to get in there. like that. <laughs> Aaron, how much rain did we get last night? Like two, two and a half? Ish. Yeah, that's why it's so darn muddy. We got like two inches, over two inches. Let's see how good he is. Come on, miss. Go on out. Go eat. Go eat. These little guys, they're just babies. We had to wean them a little early from their mamas. So they're tiny. Got a friend. Guys, I've been flip flops doing this. My feet are swelling. <laughs> Joys of pregnancy. 
while I'm doing this though, we had an ultrasound uh, yesterday, two days ago, and I'm supposed to be 34 weeks long. Oh, you little turd. And old Rhett measured uh, 36 inches and, uh, or 36 weeks and six pounds already. So that was fun. I think he'll be here earlier than what we're expecting. This heifer. Oh, oh, I lost my shoe. Don't worry. It is fine. We'll get it. We'll get him out. Okay. We'll get him out. She can stay. This little guy has a, a full brother. Half brother, right behind you, Aaron. Mm. Now, is, is Fred a half brother or a full brother to him? Now, why'd you leave that gate open? Because you told me to. <laughs> <laughs> no, you little turds. Well, not all of them. No. I guess we have some lawn mowers for you. A little bit. Don't make a mess of the yard, please. I met. Oh, I wonder if I could get him in the backyard. I bet I can. The backyard is really tall grass. I need to mow. I have officially lost my shoes. <laughs> Come here, girls. Look at all this luscious, tall green grass. Oh, they'll find their way in here. Joys of cows. I gotta find my shoes now. <laughs> you see my shoes in there? Found them. Little guy doesn't want to be without his little friends. Mm. Oh. Don't step on my shoes. Get out of here. There you go, bud.
Well, it's a likelihood if we open that uh, I'm gonna bust my butt. I guess we can probably let these boys out since they're not in heat anymore, right? We'll let the bulls out for the afternoon. Come on, boys. Look, my trick is working. They're going in the backyard. <laughs> Hi, Beckram. Good morning, boys. Good morning, Marcus. Hi, Serge. So, anyways, I'm gonna go find my shoes now. Help Aaron get these girls back in. And I think Aaron's gonna go build fence today. Mom and I are gonna do some stuff around the house and I'll try to get some uh, videos of some longhorns for you guys. Look guys, it was really hard to get them Never caught. <laughs> Portable lawn mowers. <laughs> so we haven't uh, been able to keep you guys up on all the longhorns here lately one because it's been raining a lot which is wonderful um but we've also been really busy with planting now that that's kind of slowed down waiting for it to grow so we can then harvest which will be or not harvest but uh i guess technically it's harvesting it's bailing it to harvest but anyways um, let's, uh, let's go see all the new babies. big kids yeah you look like a misfit out here you're turning colors you're shedding get your mommy yeah <laughs> so I don't fit in out here I don't have horns yeah to the other side of the property where some wheat is. Hi babies. Who are you coming to say hi?
one of our new girls. Her name's Glory. She is due, well, I bet she has a baby in the next month. She's got some pretty cool horns. She's an older girl. We have not seen water like this in the creek. Especially flowing over in, oh gosh, I'd say at least a year. We will take it. We've gotten a lot of rain in the last uh, two weeks. Bet we've had every bit of five inches or so. Oh look guys, I got, oh, I had a butterfly on my hand. two little longhorns so we're pretty excited for them that little pain in the butt talks across our pond before we had all this rain and uh, went and uh, paid the neighbor bull a visit so she gets uh, she has to have a shot this weekend to make sure she doesn't carry any baby from that because we don't want that. Hi. Hi, Rose. Your baby's looking good. This is her baby here. He's going to be a nice bull. Okay, so I'm missing quite a few. So let's, uh, See if we can find them all. out like a sore thumb sis <laughs> see Val left all of her friends for the longhorn friends hey guys what is what is this This is a little JW calf here. And then the black and white one in the bag. Oh! <laughs> Look at all of them. That's not even half of them. We gotta go find the rest of them. We had a cute baby born a couple days ago that you guys haven't seen yet. Let's see if I can find her. She's out of JW also. It may be a bit of a drive for me to find them, so hang tight. But look at all that grass. Ooh wee. We needed the rain. Hi sweetie.
messes. Mm. You've been doing rolling in the mud. Mm. You've been rolling in the mud. Yeah. Say hi. Mm. You goofballs. Yeah. Hi, Odie. Woo, you getting fat. That's the other one that uh, gets to go to her new home this week. We've had them for a long time, so we're pretty excited to let somebody else have them and enjoy them as much as we do. Oh, now you're going to get up. Are you going to come say hi? Mommy, look all them flies. You need more fly spray? Yeah, we'll get you more fly spray. So she actually uh, checked. She's probably gonna be one of our first ones to have a baby. Uh, what, around September or so? 
today, JW, so that's cool. Let's see if we can find the, the rest of the Angus. Before we had all this rain, our pond was crossable. Um, so keeping the Angus and the Longhorn apart were nearly impossible. So we ended up having to put all of the Angus heifers out with the Longhorns. And uh, so now it's a matter of getting them caught. Oh. Getting them caught back and uh, taking their Angus back out to their, their actual pastures. We might be able to do that this weekend. They know exactly where their horns are. Come here, bud. The rest of the herd left you. Yeah, he took the easy route. But they pretty well live in the trees. They know exactly where their horns are. Your baby is up front, little miss.
majority of them. If I see any more babies on the way, we'll uh, grab a video. Taking them back to their mommies. It's awful nice of you. You take them back to their mommies, okay? You need to shut out, sister. You're gonna be hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs>